Yes, I'm uh, Lieutenant Colonel Andrew Gray, call sign Light, and I'm the current squadron commander of the 71st Fighter Squadron, the Ironmen. Perfect. And so, what brings us out here today? Yeah, today, you see behind me, uh, Tel 29. Uh, this is the new flagship of the 71st Fighter Squadron. We're in the process of bringing 30 F 22s. Uh, that used to be in the training mission down in Florida, and we're moving that mission up here to Langley Air Force Base. So, so far, we've brought up a total of seven air airplanes, including the two we brought in today, which is TEL-28 and then TEL-29, which is going to be our flagship, uh, representing the 71st Fighter Squadron and 71st Fighter Generation Squadron. Hey, 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 hey. I'm sorry, um, I don't want to interrupt. You're good. Kind of, um, you can talk about the jets. Let's just not talk about the exact number. Right. So we, we'll do that question one more time. Okay. So don't say the total numbers of airplanes coming up. And no, sir. Do you want the TEL numbers or no? No, you're going to say it's the flagship. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, so I'll just ask that one more time. Uh, so what brings us out here today? Yeah, great. Uh, you see behind us, actually, this is the flagship for the 71st Fighter Squadron and also the 71st Fighter Generation Squadron. We're in the process of moving the F-22 fighter training mission from the Panhandle of Florida up here to Langley Air Force Base here in Virginia. Yeah, the mission, uh, the fighter training unit designation uh, is we train all pilots that come from pilot training and we teach them how to employ the F-22 uh, in a combat role. So we first start out teaching them how to take off and land and fly instrument approaches and procedures. And that's really about their first five or six flights in the airplane. After that, we teach them how to dogfight in 1v1 scenarios. And then we move it up from there to 2v1, 2v2, 2v many, and then up into four ship, four versus many scenarios. After we're done training these pilots, uh, they become F-22 Raptor drivers. We send them on out to the Combat Air Force units that are stationed around the United States Air Force. And um, what will having the F-22 training here, what will the impact be? Yeah, uh, so bringing the F-22 mission up from Florida here to uh, Langley, it actually helps the community because we already had two combat squadrons here. And so now we're bringing a third F-22 mission here to this base. And we get to maximize the efficiency of having our maintenance operations spread across three different squadrons. That includes all of our low observable uh, work that needs to be done on this platform, being a fifth generation stealth fighter. And it also maximizes on utilization of a supply chain in one location, instead of leaving one of these squadrons on its own down in Florida. And um, so what led up to where yeah, so really, the, the, the movement of bringing this mission up here all really goes back to uh, uh, Hurricane Michael, which ended up devastating the panhandle of Florida uh, back in 2018. And at that time, we had a combat squadron, the 95th Fighter Squadron, which has since uh, closed its doors, and it will reopen itself as an F-35 unit here in the near term. But that base basically had a, a major catastrophe. And so we distributed the airplanes that were at that facility and we put them around the Air Force. And now this is the culmination of bringing the F-22 mission up here that's been in waiting for multiple years as we've been prepping all of the military construction needs uh, that have been uh, on order and also moving the personnel and the hardware and the airplanes up here. Yeah, move it wherever you need to.
What's that? Yeah, there's one that's landing as well right now. There's, an, there's another jet, uh, short final. Do you want to try another question before the next one gets in? How's that sound, Sergeant Tinsley? Is it good? Okay. I can talk louder if you need me to. <laughs> okay. How are those pistachios? <laughs> All right, ready to go? Cool. Yeah, so today's kind of, uh, I wouldn't say it's the culmination, but it's the beginning and the continuance of bringing uh, all of the maintainers and the jets up for the fighter training mission for the F-22 from Florida. This really spawned a couple years ago, the decision was made right after Hurricane Michael devastated the Gulf Coast of Florida and primarily Tyndall Air Force Base. Uh, the decision was made to move the fighting tra fighter training mission for the F-22 up to Langley. Uh, and we've been working on this with military construction uh, jet transfers and personnel moves as well. So today we brought the flagship up here for the 71st Fighter Squadron uh, and the Fighter Generation Squadron, and we'll continue to bring the rest of the fleet and the maintenance personnel up here over the next coming months. So what are the next steps? Yeah, next steps actually, next Monday we start flying uh, the next iteration of the basic course. So that is the students that uh, finished pilot training and became pilots, got their wings. I'm sorry, sir. Let's not, let's not get the specific date. You can just say the coming week. Oh, okay, perfect. Nope, we can start that over. That was good. That was good. Yeah. So what's the next step? The next step is as we are approaching what we call our initial operational capability, we're going to start in the next coming weeks flying the first of our basic course students. So the ones that just got their wings from pilot training, and we're going to teach them how to fly here. And that is, like I said, in the next coming weeks, we have already started training a few transition pilots. So pilots that have flown other fighters, and we're now just training them to be F-22 fighter pilots. We've done a few of those here. Uh, but the basic course is really the um, the foundation of what we do as a mission here, and our next class is coming up uh, really soon. Awesome. Is there anything else you'd like to add or anything you'd like to highlight? Mm, I don't know. I think it's I don't know. I think that's everything. I think what? You, you can just hammer home the overall Raptor readiness that we'll have in the okay. now that we're up and running and actually yeah. being able to. That's great. Okay. Uh, the only thing I would add is, uh, as we are closing the 43rd Fighter Squadron down in Florida, the mission down there of the F-22, starting the 71st here, uh, it will actually help the readiness for our entire fleet here at Langley, because we're bringing more manpower, more airplanes. While that is more of a potential burden on the base, it actually helps us to be more efficient across the F-22 community. And our maintenance, our logistics, and our readiness training pilots, both in the combat squadrons and in the training squadron, are, are able to be optimized by this move. Amazing. All right, anything else? That's it. Thank cool. You very much, sir. There you go. Yes, sir. Thank you so much.